Hi, Brent Brehant, Technical Field Trainer for HTP. I am here today to talk to you about our new Enduro TI. Uh, the Enduro TI is our new large mass modulating condensing commercial boiler um, that's presently available in two sizes. We have 750,000 BTU models and one, one million BTU models. Um, some of the features and benefits of the Enduro TI are the heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is constructed of a very high grade stainless steel titanium blend. It also features corrugated horizontal triple pass flue design um, along with a carbon steel shell and tube frame on the heat exchanger. Um, we have a modulating inward firing burner that allows us to achieve thermal efficiencies up to about 93.2 percent. Um, it is a large mass boiler of course so the uh, 750,000 BTU model holds about 44 gallons of water where the million holds about 66 gallons of water. So very large mass, um, very low pressure drop through the heat exchanger very efficient and a fantastic turndown ratio. Um, the shipping weights are about 850 pounds for the 750,000 model and about 950 th pounds for the 1 million BTU model. Uh, the heat exchanger features a built-in pitch to get make sure that everything is pitched back to the condensate collection system. It features a removable burner door that we're going to cover and show you some of the combustion components and also features removable access panels that allow you to, to get in there and do some service or repair work if needed at really very easily. Okay, some of the other features and benefits on the big Enduro TI here are um, the permanent casters. So these casters are provided with the unit. Um, they allow it easy to roll around on surfaces, get it into place, and then they just simply lock in place and the boiler stays there. One of the great features of this boiler is the removable access panels. So these panels just simply lift off come out of your way and remove to allow access to all your safeties and sensors and all the wiring within the unit. Um, the other benefit to having these panels like this is they are shipped separately in a box with the unit. So a uh, boiler will get installed, everything gets started up, ready to go, and then after the completion, you can add your finish panels, just give you a nice smooth finish on the product. Okay, to, to remove the cover, uh, we have a latch on each side. The cover is supported by a by a flange, so we just undo the two latches, lift up, and set it out of our way. And now I have access uh, to my components within the cabinet. So right here, we have our blower motor. We have our negative regulated gas valve and piping. Um, back here is our 928 control board and our ignition transformer. Um, all totally sealed and away from the rest of the boiler. And a nice easy place to work at. The Enduro TI uh, uses a, a hyperjet combustion system with an inward firing burner. Um, within that process, we also use a Belimo air mixer to ensure proper combustion from low to high fire and also a very smooth ignition sequence. So the Belimo valve is located um, right on the outlet side of the burner, um, right here. So the control board automatically adjusts the Belimo valve to mix air with the fuel ratio for ignition. And again, so we have proper combustion and a very consistent combustion uh, from low to high fire no matter what with this unit. So the control board outputs a 0 to 10 volt signal to control this Belimo valve. The Enduro TI uses our newest control, the 928. So the 928 control um, has a, a lot of features and benefits to it. Um, the first feature of it is it's a switch mode power control, meaning uh, there's no internal transformer, so it's all done with processors. Um, sending power just when needed and holding it back when it's not needed. So it makes the control very efficient, which is part of the overall efficiency of the appliance. Um, it uses two processors, one to control the safety functions and another to control the boiler operating functions. So with that, the control will allow you to do multiple inputs and outputs. So right now we can control 0 to 10 volt inputs. We can do multiple 0 to 10 volt outputs. We can also control um, full outdoor reset. We can cascade up to eight units together with one being in charge of the whole mass, giving you a lot of redundancy. It will accept the build and management interface that we offer between Modbus and BACnet. It also allows you to control pumps and their outputs. We can control a system pump, a DHW pump, or a, or a boiler pump in any configuration of those pumps, depending on how we configure the job and how we would like them to come on. So with the 928 control, we use a 40 character two line LCD display that allows users to set uh, definitive set points uh, a full outdoor reset curve and get real world field feedback from the control board as to what's going on and as well as provide trouble codes and information to that nature. Okay, wiring to the unit. So power is provided through this junction box. So um, the control needs 120 volts, 60 hertz, uh, single phase power. 
Um, 15 amp breakers should be sufficient. Um, what we've provided for you is a service switch, on and off service switch. Um, and then of course a field connection board. So the field connection board allows connections to the inputs, meaning um, outdoor sensor, domestic hot water sensor, maybe a system sensor, the zero to 10 volt inputs as well. Um, it also provides the output wiring. So we can output to a system pump, uh, a boiler, dedicated boiler pump, uh, or even an indirect domestic pump if need be. So the field connection board is located within the junction box that gives you plenty of knockouts to do all your wiring. And of course, is routed down into the main control board in the front cabinet here, separated from the combustion system. The Enduro TI right now is available in natural gas. So the connection is a two inch NPT female connection um, and operates between three and a half and 14 inches of water column. The Enduro TI is a condensing product, so we need to be able to get rid of the condensate. Um, so being that it's such a large mass, we have built in pitch to the, po uh, to the appliance that will allow all the condensate to drain back to the back. And off the back of the appliance, we have a condensate trap and drain that allows you to connect it up to a neutralizer and off to be pumped out or off into a drain, um, but a very easy connection off the back side of the boiler. So this is the condensate collection assembly that ships separate from the boiler and installed in the field. And you can connect up to a uh, PVC hard pipe, or of course you can go to a, a you know a soft cor corrugated material if need be that's provided with the unit. It's also on a, a float switch in case something backs up. It has a safety that will shut it down. The Enduro TI, of course, is a modulating condensing category four rated appliance. So it can vent in standard schedule 40, schedule 80 PVC, schedule 40, schedule 80 CPVC, um, polypropylene, or of course stainless steel vent. Connection sizes to both models, the 750 and 1 million, are 6 inch. And we offer uh, a number of termination where we can go um, horizontal exhaust, we can go vertical exhaust, we can do unbalanced exhaust where we go vertical with the exhaust and pull fresh air from a side. And we can also use a, a concentric kit or a sidewall vent kit. So there's many options in the venting of this appliance. Okay, the Enduro TI is a very large mass appliance. Um, so with that being said, it doesn't require primary, secondary piping in most cases. So the connection sizes on the 750,000 BTU model are two inch, and on the one million it's two and a half inch, and they are a flange connection that will allow um, for maintenance and things like that.